Welcome to the Afterspin. Opinions from thought leaders in our state. Connie Wilson at a recent forum held in the legislature. Senator Ralph Heiss, the Senate uh, lead for health appropriations, stated that certificate of need laws in North Carolina are going to be repealed. Now, there was a move just recently to gut a bill that would name the bobcat as the official cat of our state, and in its place, a new effort to repeal CON. The Senate says it's going to hear that bill. What are your expectations for CON repeal? We know you've been working on this. I know. I've been working on this basically since 1997, off and on, so I'm a little bit slow. <laughs> but I will tell you, there's a growing interest and an understanding that something needs to change with North Carolina's Certificate of Need laws. All of health care is changing, how payment is made, quality of care, bundling. It's changing at the Medicaid level, the Medicare level, and we have this archaic regulatory Comp limiting competition regulation in place that drives up the cost of health care. So even folk we're finding that have been opposed to CON reform in the legislature are starting to say, hey, we need to start looking at this. I don't know if it's going to be this year. It's a short session. We only have a few weeks left. But I appreciate Senator Heiss putting it on the table and making people think. And by putting the repeal out four and a half years, January 1, 2021, he basically says to all the hospitals and the CON holders, this gives you time to make the transition. And that kind of takes away a lot of arguments. He's done an excellent job of positioning the issue, and we're find gro finding growing interest to do something in 2017. Very good. Well, thank you for watching the After Spin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.